Question one, scenario based question. Scenario, Sarah is working on a project where she needs to optimize a large collection of high resolution images for a corporate website. The images must maintain their quality but be optimized for fast web loading times. Sarah is considering various options for asset optimization within AE. M. Question. Which of the following is the best approach for Sarah to optimize the images within AE? M. While ensuring the website performs efficiently. A. Use Eames automatic image resizing tools and apply metadata tagging to track each image size reduction. B. Manually resize each image using an external tool. Then upload them to AE. M. For storage. C. Use Eames asset compute framework to process the images on the fly and apply transformation policies based on the target device. D. Upload the images without any optimization and rely on browser caching to handle performance issues. Answer. C. Use Eames asset compute framework to process the images on the fly and apply transformation policies based on the target device. Explanation. In this scenario, using Eames Asset Compute Framework, option C, is the best solution for optimizing images because it allows for on-the-fly processing that ensures images are resized and optimized dynamically based on the user's device and screen resolution. This maintains high quality while improving page load times. Eames Asset Compute Framework can be customized to apply specific transformation policies like resizing, format conversion, and quality adjustments as per the device's needs, providing an optimal balance between performance and image fidelity. Question 2. Asset Management and Metadata Tagging In Adobe Experience Manager, EAM, which of the following strategies should be employed to manage assets effectively and ensure they can be easily discovered and filtered for use in various marketing campaigns? A. Assigning generic, non-specific metadata to assets to keep the structure simple and avoid unnecessary complexity. B. Implementing a well-defined metadata schema with specific attributes tailored to the asset types and campaign needs. C. Using the default metadata schema in AE. M. For all assets without customization to maintain uniformity. D. Limiting the metadata schema to only one or two fields, such as title and description, for simplicity. Answer. B. Implementing a well-defined metadata schema with specific attributes tailored to the asset types and campaign needs. Explanation. Effective asset management relies heavily on the ability to quickly retrieve and organize assets based on specific, well-defined metadata. Custom metadata schemas, option B, tailored to particular asset types, E, G, images, videos, documents, and campaign needs allow for greater searchability, filtering, and categorization within AE. M, metadata should include attributes like keywords, categories, campaign tags, and usage rights, which enable efficient management, retrieval, and compliance across different teams and campaigns. Question 3. E. M. Workflow Automation. John is tasked with automating an approval workflow for digital assets within AE. M. The workflow should ensure that assets are reviewed, approved, and tagged with appropriate metadata before being published. Which of the following steps is essential for setting up this automated approval workflow options? A. Configuring the workflow to trigger based on a time schedule rather than asset state. B. Using Eames default workflow settings without any customization to handle approval steps. C. Setting up custom workflow steps to assign tasks to specific users such as asset reviewers and metadata taggers based on asset types. D. Enabling only a manual review process for each asset to ensure high quality control. Answer. C. Setting up custom workflow steps to assign tasks to specific users such as asset reviewers and metadata taggers based on asset types. Explanation. To automate an approval workflow effectively in AE. M. Custom workflow steps. Option C. Need to be configured to assign specific tasks to the relevant team members based on the asset types. This includes roles for reviewing, approving, and tagging assets with metadata. Automation should streamline the approval process, ensuring that the right people review and tag assets without unnecessary delays. For example, images may require a different set of reviewers compared to documents, and each may need specific metadata applied before they are approved for publishing. Question 4. A. M. Security and Permissions. In A. M. Environment. The security configuration of digital assets is crucial to ensure that only authorized users can view or modify certain content. Which of the following actions should be taken to enhance security and restrict access to sensitive assets? A. 
assign the read-only permission to all users to avoid any changes to assets. B. Usames Group can use a permission system to define custom access levels, ensuring only authorized users have access to specific assets and metadata. C. Allow all users access to assets but limit their access to metadata fields. D. Rely on EAMS default permissions to manage access to assets as it automatically configures the necessary restrictions. Answer. B. Usames Group and user permission system to define custom access levels, ensuring only authorized users have access to specific assets and metadata. Explanation. In A. M. Security and permissions should be configured using EAMS Group and user permission system. Option B. This allows administrators to create custom access levels, ensuring that only authorized users can view, modify, or publish specific assets based on their role in the organization. Proper permission configuration is critical for maintaining data integrity and confidentiality. Question 5. Asset Processing and Optimization In Adobe Experience Manager, Sarah is tasked with processing and optimizing large video files for her company's website. The videos must be delivered in multiple formats based on the device type E. G, mobile, desktop, tablet. Which feature in AE? M can best address this requirement. A, asset metadata configuration to specify formats for different devices. B, asset compute and cloud service integration to apply transformation rules based on device type. C, manually creating different video formats for each device type and uploading them to A. M, D, using EAMS default video rendering feature, which automatically optimizes videos for all devices. Answer. B. Asset compute and cloud service integration to apply transformation rules based on device type. Explanation. To optimize video content for various devices, EAMS Asset Compute, option B, combined with cloud service integration is the most efficient and scalable solution. Asset compute can dynamically apply transformation rules such as format conversion, resizing, and compression based on the device type. This ensures that videos are delivered in the optimal format for performance and viewing experience. Question 6. A. M data model and repository structure. John is tasked with customizing the A. M repository structure for his organization's asset management system. He wants to ensure that digital assets are stored in a hierarchical structure, which is easy to scale as the number of assets grows. Which of the following actions is recommended for structuring the repository effectively? A. Create a flat repository structure where all assets are stored in a single folder for simplicity. B. Use a hierarchical repository structure with well-defined paths for each type of asset. E. G. Images, videos, documents to ensure scalability and easier management. C. Store assets in a single directory without defining asset types to avoid complexity. D. Store assets in external systems and only use A. M as a content delivery mechanism. Answer. B. Use a hierarchical repository structure with well-defined paths for each type of asset. E. G. Images, videos, documents to ensure scalability and easier management. Explanation. A hierarchical repository structure option B in A. M is the best approach for scalability and manageability. Particularly as the number of assets grows, assets should be organized into logical folders or directories based on their types, e. g. Images, documents, videos. This ensures efficient asset retrieval, proper metadata tagging, and user administration as the system scales. Question 7. Asset Workflow Automation Alicia is setting up an automated approval workflow in Adobe Experience Manager, EAM, for reviewing and publishing digital assets. She needs to ensure that only approved assets are published to the live environment and that all necessary metadata is extracted and attached to each asset during the workflow. Which of the following steps is required for Alicia to configure this approval workflow properly? A. Enable version control for each asset to automatically revert to the previous version if the asset fails the approval workflow. B. Set up workflow steps to assign reviewers and metadata extractors and use the built-in metadata extraction tools for automation. C. Create a custom approval process where assets are manually reviewed and metadata is added only after approval. D. Disable workflow automation and assign metadata tagging manually to each asset before approval. Answer. B. Set up workflow steps to assign reviewers and metadata extractors and use the built-in metadata extraction tools for automation. Explanation. To automate the approval workflow effectively in AE, 
M, Alicia should configure custom workflow steps, option B, that assign tasks to specific reviewers and metadata extractors. By leveraging Eames built-in metadata extraction tools, she can ensure that metadata is automatically added during the review process, streamlining the workflow and making it more efficient. The workflow should be structured to move assets through the approval process automatically with metadata extracted based on predefined criteria. Question 8. E. M data model and repository structure. James is working on structuring the AE M repository for a large enterprise project. He needs to create a scalable model that efficiently handles thousands of assets and ensures that different departments can access and manage their own content. What approach should James take to organize the repository? A. Store all assets in a single root directory to simplify the repository structure. B. Implement a folder structure with access controls based on user groups and asset types. E. G. Marketing, sales, videos, documents for scalability and proper management. C. Use a flat structure to avoid creating unnecessary folders, as asset categorization can be handled by metadata tags alone. D. Rely on an external system to handle all asset storage and only use AE. M. For content delivery. Answer. B. Implement a folder structure with access controls based on user groups and asset types for scalability and proper management. Explanation. For scalability and proper management, James should organize the repository into a hierarchical folder structure based on asset types. E. G. Images, videos, documents, and user groups. E. G. Marketing, sales. This ensures that assets are logically grouped, making it easier for teams to find and manage content. E. M allows for granular permissions at the folder level, so different departments can control and access their own content without interference from others. This also helps maintain security and access control. Question 9. Asset Delivery and Optimization Mark is tasked with delivering digital assets, images, and videos from AE M to mobile app. The assets must be optimized for various devices, smartphones, tablets, desktops, to ensure fast loading times while maintaining image quality. Which strategy should Mark use to optimize assets for mobile delivery? A. Compress all images and videos into one format and resolution to ensure uniform delivery across all devices. B. Useem's Asset Compute Framework to automatically adjust and deliver assets in different sizes and formats based on the requesting device's specifications. C. Useem's Default Asset Delivery System, relying on the browser's built-in optimization features to handle the device-specific adjustments. D. Deliver higher resolution assets regardless of the device to maintain quality at the cost of performance. Answer. B. Useem's Asset Compute Framework to automatically adjust and deliver assets in different sizes and formats based on the requesting device's specifications. Explanation. The Asset Compute Framework, option B, in A, M is specifically designed to dynamically optimize assets for different devices. It allows for on-the-fly processing of assets, adjusting the size, format, and quality based on the target device, smartphone, tablet, desktop. This ensures that assets are delivered in the most suitable format for each device, improving both loading times and user experience. Question 10. Version Control and Deployment Sophia is responsible for managing digital assets and their versions in Adobe Experience Manager, EAM. She wants to implement version control for the assets and ensure that previous versions can be accessed and reverted if necessary. What is the most effective approach Sophia should use to handle asset versioning in AEM? They manually track versions of assets in an external file and create a backup every time an asset is updated. B. Utilize EAM's versioning system, which automatically manages asset versions and provides a rollback feature for each asset version. C. Disable version control for assets to avoid unnecessary data storage and management overhead. D. Useem's metadata system to manually label and track each version of the assets. Answer. B. Utilize Eames versioning system, which automatically manages asset versions and provides a rollback feature for each asset version. Explanation. E. M. Provides a built-in version control system. Option B for assets, which automatically creates a new version each time an asset is modified. This allows Sophia to easily manage asset versions, access previous versions, and roll back to earlier versions when necessary. This system reduces the risk of losing data and streamlines asset management. Question 11. Cloud Integration 
Liam needs to integrate Adobe Experience Manager, EAM assets with an external cloud storage solution for scalability and efficient asset management. He plans to integrate AEM with Amazon S Storage. Which of the following steps should Liam take to properly integrate AEM with Amazon as a, a manually upload assets to Amazon S and use AEM as a reference tool to display them? B. Use Eames Cloud Service integration with Amazon S to enable seamless storage and retrieval of assets in the cloud. C. Set up a custom script to download and upload assets between AEM and Amazon S periodically. D. Rely on Eames default asset storage capabilities without cloud integration as Amazon S is unnecessary. Answer. B. Use Eames Cloud Service integration with Amazon S to enable seamless storage and retrieval of assets in the cloud. Explanation. Eames Cloud Service Integration, option B, is the recommended way to integrate with cloud storage solutions like Amazon's S. This approach provides seamless asset storage, retrieval, and management in the cloud, ensuring efficient scaling without the need for manual processes. It also ensures assets are properly managed within a M while taking advantage of cloud storage scalability and reliability. Question 12. Asset Processing and Optimization. Ethan is working on optimizing image assets in AEM for use on a global e-commerce website. The images need to be optimized for different devices, mobile, tablet, desktop, to ensure fast loading times and preserve quality. What is the most effective strategy Ethan should use to optimize images for multiple device types? A. Useems Asset Compute to automatically generate device-specific image renditions, adjusting the resolution and format based on the device requesting the asset. B. Manually upload optimized images in multiple sizes and formats for each device type and store them in different folders. C. Rely on the browser's built-in responsiveness feature to automatically adjust images for each device type without any additional configuration in AEM. D. Compress all images to a low resolution to minimize load times, even if it reduces image quality. Answer. A. Useems Asset Compute to automatically generate device-specific image renditions, adjusting the resolution and format based on the device requesting the asset. Explanation. Eames Asset Compute, option A, is the most efficient solution for optimizing images for various devices. It allows automatic rendition generation based on the device's resolution and size, ensuring that images are delivered in the optimal format for the user's device while maintaining both quality and performance. This approach reduces the need for manual asset management and ensures a seamless user experience. Question 13. Security and Compliance in Asset Management Lily is tasked with ensuring that all digital assets in Adobe Experience Manager aim meet security and compliance standards. Specifically, she needs to ensure that only authorized users can access and edit sensitive assets while maintaining a secure audit trail of any actions performed on those assets. What is the best approach for Lily to achieve this? A. Implement Eames Granular Permissions System to assign role-based access controls and use the Audit Log feature to track all user activities. B. Store all sensitive assets outside of AEM to ensure they are secure and grant limited access through external systems. C. Use Eames Default Permission Settings for all users to simplify access management and manually monitor asset usage. D. Encrypt all assets manually before uploading them to AEM. M to ensure data security, ignoring built-in security features. Answer. A. Implement Eames Granular Permissions System to assign role-based access controls and use the Audit Log feature to track all user activities. Explanation. To ensure proper security and compliance, Lily should leverage Eames Granular Permissions System, option A. The system allows precise control over who can access and modify specific assets, ensuring that only authorized personnel can work with sensitive materials. Eames Audit Log feature also tracks every action performed on assets, providing a secure trail of modifications, which is essential for compliance. Question 14. Asset Management Lifecycle Brian is designing an asset management workflow in Adobe Experience Manager, Eam, for a global marketing team. The workflow should manage the life cycle of assets from initial upload to final publishing. Which of the following practices would best streamline the asset management life cycle in AEM? A. Allow each team to manage their own assets independently without any centralized oversight. B. Implement an automated metadata extraction process during upload and use AEM workflows for approval, tagging, and publishing. C. Use a third-party tool for metadata management and rely on AEM only for asset storage and delivery. 
D, set up a simple manual approval process with no metadata requirements to simplify the workflow. Answer, B, implement an automated metadata extraction process during upload in USAE. M workflows for approvals, tagging, and publishing. Explanation. The most efficient way to streamline the asset management lifecycle is by leveraging EAMS built-in capabilities, such as automated metadata extraction, option B, during asset upload. This allows assets to be properly tagged with relevant metadata immediately upon upload, streamlining the process and ensuring that assets are easily discoverable. Additionally, A, M workflows can automate approvals, tagging, and publishing steps significantly reducing manual intervention and ensuring consistency and accuracy throughout the process. Question 15. Extending AEM capabilities. Jessica is tasked with customizing AEM to better meet her organization's asset management needs. Specifically, she needs to extend EAMS functionality to handle custom metadata fields for asset categorization and improve asset delivery processes. What would be the best approach to extend AEM? M in this case, A, create custom OSCE components and sling models to manage assets programmatically, including custom metadata and delivery logic. B, rely on EAMS default metadata and delivery features, making no customizations, and manually adjust assets when necessary. C, use third-party plugins for metadata management and asset delivery to avoid development work in A, M, D, store custom metadata outside of A, M in, a separate database and manually synchronize it with the platform. Answer. A. Create custom OSCE components and sling models to manage assets programmatically, including custom metadata and delivery logic. Explanation. To extend EAMS capabilities efficiently, Jessica should use OSCE components and sling models, option A. These tools allow for programmatic control over asset management, enabling the creation of custom metadata fields and improving asset delivery logic. By developing these components, Jessica can integrate custom functionality into E. M. Providing a tailored solution that meets her organization's unique needs. Question 16, Asset Workflow Automation. Thomas is tasked with automating the approval process for digital assets in Adobe Experience Manager, EAM. He wants to set up a workflow that ensures assets are automatically tagged and approved before being published. Which A, M feature would be the most appropriate for automating this workflow? A, set up a custom sling servlet to manually process approval and tagging. B, implement A, M workflows, utilizing workflow models to automate tagging, approval, and publishing steps. C. Useem's asset metadata schema to manually assign tags and approve assets without using workflows. D. Enable automatic tagging based on predefined keywords, but manually handle approval and publishing separately. Answer. B. Implement A. M workflows, utilizing workflow models to automate tagging approval, and publishing steps. Explanation. A. M workflows, option B, are the most effective way to automate the entire asset approval process. Using workflow models, you can create an automated sequence that includes tasks like asset tagging, approval, and publishing. This reduces manual work and ensures consistency in the asset management process. Question 17. Integration with external systems. M is responsible for integrating A. M assets with an external digital asset management, DAM, system to streamline asset sharing between the two platforms. Which method should EMA use to implement this integration? A. Manually export assets from A, M, and upload them to the external DAM system without automation. B. Useem's HTTP API to connect with the external DAM system and synchronize assets. C. Implement. Custom integration using EMSLING API to push assets to the external DAM. D. Useem's out-of-the-box connectors and integration tools to sync assets with the external DAM system. Answer. D. Useem's out-of-the-box connectors and integration tools to sync assets with the external DAM system. Explanation. E. M. provides out-of-the-box connectors and integration tools, option D, that are designed to facilitate seamless integration with external systems like DAMs. These tools enable asset synchronization, metadata exchange, and more, without requiring complex custom development. By using these built-in features, EMMA can ensure efficient and reliable integration with the external system. Question 18. Asset Processing and Optimization Julia is tasked with optimizing video assets in AE. M to ensure 
that they are delivered efficiently on various devices and networks. She needs to ensure that the video file is transcoded to different resolutions based on the user's device type. Which feature of AE? M should Julia use to achieve this? A. Useem's asset compute service to automatically transcode videos to the required resolution based on the device. B. Manually transcode videos to different resolutions and upload each version separately in AE. M. C. Rely on browser-side technology to automatically transcode videos to the right resolution when requested. D. Compress all videos to a single low resolution and rely on device scaling to just the video size. Answer. A. Useem's asset compute service to automatically transcode videos to the required resolution based on the device. Explanation. Eames asset compute service, option A, allows for automatic transcoding of video assets to various resolutions and formats based on the requesting device's needs. This ensures that videos are optimized for delivery across multiple platforms, improving both loading times and user experience. Asset compute handles the processing dynamically which is the most efficient and scalable solution for video optimization. Question 19. A. M data model and repository structure. Alex is tasked with designing the data model for storing assets in Adobe Experience Manager, EAM. He needs to ensure that assets are efficiently indexed and categorized with clear relationships between metadata and the asset files. Which approach should Alex take when structuring the A. M repository for optimal asset management? A. Create custom JCR nodes for each asset type and metadata schema to structure the repository manually. B. Rely on EAMS default repository structure and metadata management features without any custom configuration. C. Use EAMS out of the box DAM structure and extend it only with minor adjustments to meet specific needs. D. Design a custom relational database outside AE. M. To store metadata and link it to assets in the AE. M. Repository. Answer. C. Useem's out of the box DAM structure and extended only with minor adjustments to meet specific needs. Explanation. EAMS out of the box DAM structure, option C, is optimized for asset management and includes a predefined organization for storing assets and managing metadata. Extending this structure with minor adjustments allows Alex to achieve a balance between leveraging EAMS robust, pre configured features and customizing the system to meet the specific needs of the organization. This method ensures compatibility, performance, and ease of integration within the AE M ecosystem. Question 20. Version control and asset management. M is managing an asset library in Adobe Experience Manager, EAM, and wants to ensure that multiple versions of each asset are handled properly, allowing her to track changes and roll back when needed. Which feature of AE? M would be most effective for managing asset versions and ensuring that older versions can be retrieved. A. Useem's versioning system to automatically create a new version of assets each time an update is made. B. Rely on EAMS file system to store each asset version manually as a new file. C. Implement EAMS DAM workflows to create custom version control logic for asset management. D. Use external version control systems like Git to track changes in asset files outside AE. M. Answer. A. Useem's versioning system to automatically create a new version of assets each time an update is made. Explanation. EAMS versioning system, option A, is designed specifically to manage asset versions, allowing users to create and track new versions each time an asset is updated. This ensures that previous versions are preserved, making it possible to roll back to earlier versions if needed. It also integrates seamlessly with EAMS DAM and workflows, providing an efficient and centralized solution for version control. Question 21. Troubleshooting asset upload issues. John is facing issues where large image assets are not uploading correctly to Adobe Experience Manager, EAM. The images appear corrupted or fail to upload entirely. Which troubleshooting approach would be most effective for resolving this issue? A. Check EAMS error logs to identify upload issues related to file size limits or permissions. B. Increase the file size limit on the server and continue uploading without further checks. C. Clear EAMS cache and try uploading the assets again without addressing the root cause of the issue. D. Use EAMS default settings and assume the issue is with the images themselves, not the system. Answer. A. Check EAMS error logs to identify upload issues related to file size limits or permissions. Explanation. The most effective way to troubleshoot upload issues is by examining EAMS error logs, option A. 
These logs provide detailed information about any errors or limitations encountered during the upload process, such as file size restrictions, permission issues, or configuration errors. Understanding the root cause of the issue is crucial for fixing it effectively. Question 22. Asset metadata and tagging. Sophia is tasked with improving the discoverability of assets in AE and by implementing an efficient metadata and tagging strategy. Which approach would be best to organize assets using metadata for optimal search and retrieval? A. Use flat metadata fields without considering hierarchical relationships between tags or categories. B. Create a dynamic tagging system that assigns metadata values based on predefined rules during asset upload, ensuring that the same tags are consistently applied. C. Allow manual tagging by users without any guidelines or predefined metadata fields, and let users categorize assets freely. D. Use metadata schemas with predefined structured categories and controlled vocabulary to standardize tagging across assets. Answer. D. Use metadata schemas with predefined structured categories and controlled vocabulary to standardize tagging across assets. Explanation. Using metadata schemas, option D, with structured categories and controlled vocabulary is the best practice for organizing assets in AE. M. This method ensures consistency and accuracy when tagging assets, enabling efficient search and retrieval. Predefined metadata fields make it easier to categorize assets and streamline the asset management process, reducing errors and improving searchability. Question 23. Cloud integration. Liam is integrating a M assets with a cloud storage solution to improve scalability and reduce infrastructure costs. What would be the best method to ensure that assets are seamlessly stored in the cloud and remain accessible from AE? M. A. Store all assets locally on AE. M. Servers and only upload a copy to the cloud for backup purposes. B. Use Eames Cloud Service to automatically store assets in a cloud storage provider while maintaining an index of the assets in AE. M. C. Integrate with cloud storage providers manually via API to store assets and update AE. M. Metadata accordingly. D. Rely on Eames out-of-the-box connectors to synchronize and manage assets across multiple cloud providers without needing custom development. Answer. B. Use Eames Cloud Service to automatically store assets in a cloud storage provider while maintaining an index of the assets in AE. M. Explanation. Eames Cloud Service, option B, is specifically designed for cloud storage integration and helps automatically manage asset storage in cloud solutions like Adobe Experience Manager as a cloud service, Emox. This approach ensures that assets are stored securely in the cloud while maintaining an index of the assets within AE. And for easy retrieval, the solution provides scalability, reduces infrastructure costs, and ensures seamless integration between AE, M, and the cloud. Question 24. Troubleshooting Asset Performance Michael is troubleshooting performance issues in AE, M, specifically with slow image rendering times on his website. After examining the network, he finds that large image files are being downloaded, even though they are not being rendered at their full resolution. What should Michael do to resolve this issue? A, use Eames Asset Optimization Tools to automatically resize images before publishing them. B, ensure that the image delivery system is optimized to deliver images based on device resolution and screen size. C. Compress images to the smallest possible resolution manually and upload them again. D. Manually edit the image resolution and use asset metadata without using optimization tools. Answer. B. Ensure that the image delivery system is optimized to deliver images based on device resolution and screen size. Explanation. Optimizing the image delivery system. Option B ensures that images are served based on the device's capabilities, such as screen resolution and size. This dynamic image delivery reduces unnecessary data consumption and improves load times by only serving images in the required resolution for each device. This approach is more efficient than simply resizing or compressing images without considering the context of use. Question 25. Managing Digital Asset Workflows Sarah is working on setting up an automated approval workflow for new image assets in AE. M. She needs to ensure that the workflow includes steps for content review, metadata validation, and final approval before assets are published. Which A. M. feature will help Sarah implement this automated process? A. Useem's workflow models to create a custom approval process that includes review and validation steps. B. Rely on Eames default asset approval workflow, which automatically handles all the necessary stages without custom configuration.
See, implement a third-party plugin for workflow management and integrate it with AE. M to handle approval and validation. D, use Seam's versioning system to track changes to assets and manually approve each version before publishing. Answer. A, use Seam's workflow models to create a custom approval process that includes review and validation steps. Explanation. EAMS workflow models, option A, are designed to automate complex asset management processes, including approval workflows. Sarah can configure a custom workflow with multiple stages such as content review, metadata validation, and final approval. This feature offers flexibility, allowing for a tailored solution that fits her organization's specific needs. It ensures an efficient and consistent approval process. Question 26. Handling asset performance and optimization. Michael is experiencing slow loading times for images on his website. He suspects the issue is related to the size of the images stored in AE-M, which are not optimized for the web. Which AE-M feature should Michael use to address this problem effectively? A. Enable AE-M dynamic media to optimize and deliver images in different sizes based on the user's device and screen resolution. B. Compress all images manually before uploading them to AE-M to reduce their file size. C. Useem's Asset Metadata Editor to reduce the file size of images directly within the system. D. Implement third-party image optimization tools and integrate them with AE. M. For faster image processing. Answer. A. Enable AE. M. Dynamic media to optimize and deliver images in different sizes based on the user's device and screen resolution. Explanation. E. M. Dynamic media. Option A provides powerful image optimization tools that automatically resize and serve images based on the user's device and screen resolution. This ensures that images are delivered efficiently, reducing unnecessary data consumption and improving page load times without compromising on quality. This is a built-in feature of AE and designed specifically to address performance issues like slow loading times. Question 27. Extending AE and for custom asset management. James is working on a project that requires customized asset handling functionality. He needs to create a custom component to manage asset metadata programmatically and ensure it interacts seamlessly with Eames workflow system. Which A M tool should James use to develop this custom functionality? A use OSCE components and sling models to create a custom solution that integrates asset management with workflows. B rely on Eames authoring environment to manually create and update metadata for assets through the UI. C. Useem CRX repository directly to manipulate metadata and assets at the repository level. D. Leverage Eames Cloud Manager to deploy the custom component and automate metadata handling. Answer. A. Use OSCE components and sling models to create a custom solution that integrates asset management with workflows. Explanation. OSCE components and sling models. Option A are the most appropriate tools for creating custom solutions in AEM. These technologies allow James to extend Eames functionality, especially when dealing with asset metadata and workflow integration. OSCE components provide modular, reusable services, while Sling models allow for the creation of Java objects that can interact with JCR repositories and integrate seamlessly with workflows. Question 28. Version Control and Asset Deployment Daniel is responsible for managing digital assets in AE. M and ensuring that different versions of assets are properly controlled across development, staging, and production environments. He needs a strategy that enables him to track and manage different versions of assets throughout their life cycle. What is the best way for Daniel to handle version control in AE? M. A. Useem's versioning system to create new versions of assets and manage them across environments. B. Rely on manual asset uploads in each environment and manage versions outside AE. M. Using external tools. C. Create custom workflows that automatically create new versions of assets every time they are updated in any environment. D. Use Eames replication feature to ensure assets are replicated across environments and handle versioning separately in the source code. Answer. A. Use Eames versioning system to create new versions of assets and manage them across environments. Explanation. Eames versioning system. Option A is specifically designed to manage the life cycle of assets within the platform. By using this built-in system, Daniel can track changes, revert to previous versions, and manage asset versions in an efficient and integrated manner. 
Eames versioning capabilities are tightly coupled with the JCR repository, making it the most effective method for managing versions across environments. Question 29. Troubleshooting asset upload issues. Emily is troubleshooting an issue where assets are not being properly uploaded to Eames DAM, Digital Asset Management, system. The system logs show that the upload process fails with a timeout error. What should Emily do first to identify and resolve the issue? A. Increase the file upload size limit in Eames configuration settings to allow larger files to be uploaded. B. Review the system logs for any detailed error messages that might point to specific issues with the upload process. C. Manually upload the assets via the A. M. Author interface and check for any pop-up error messages that might appear. D. Disable all workflows temporarily to ensure that the asset upload process is not being blocked by background processes. Answer. B. Review the system logs for any detailed error messages that might point to specific issues with the upload process. Explanation. The first step in troubleshooting an asset upload failure should always be to review the system logs. Option B. Eames logs often provide detailed error messages or stack traces that can help identify whether the issue is related to server configuration, permissions, or connectivity problems. By analyzing the logs, Emily can pinpoint the cause of the issue and take the appropriate steps to resolve it. Question 30. Customizing Asset Metadata Management Sophia is working on a project that requires a custom metadata schema for assets in AEM. She needs to ensure that the schema can be applied to various asset types such as images, videos, and documents, and that it supports both required and optional fields. What is the best way to implement this in AEM? A. You seems DAM Metadata Schema Editor to create a new schema and apply it to the relevant asset types. B. Manually edit the asset metadata for each asset type and ensure the fields are applied as needed. C. Create a custom OSCE service that dynamically applies metadata schemas to assets based on their type. D. Rely on the default metadata provided by E. M. And manually adjust it for each asset as required. Answer. A. Useams DAM metadata schema editor to create a new schema and apply it to the relevant asset types. Explanation. Eames DAM Metadata Schema Editor, Option A, is the best way to create custom metadata schemas and apply them to various asset types. This editor allows Sophia to define both required and optional fields in the schema and easily apply it to images, videos, documents, and other asset types. By using this tool, Sophia can ensure consistency and accuracy in metadata across asset types.